Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And with a new meta means a new video fighting off against the Masked Hero Time Traveler stage to get her special unique weapon. So she doesn't have it equipped right now, but she does have a special sword that you can get for free. And it comes one star awakened as soon as I find it. Here it is. Right here. You can get it at, you know, one purple star. You don't have to do, you don't get any other dupes of it. You just get this. And again, it is free. It is unique to her. It gives her 20% attack, which I mean is the same almost as any other elemental sword. So the space sword would be the same. It's just unique to her. So uh, you don't have to forge it. But you can acquire it from the story quest all the way down here. The Beauty Makes Her Move Chapter 13 Stage 8 on Expert Unlock with the question mark EP requirements. The stage is very interesting, but also at this point very, very old. Uh, first off, you fight Hinata, who does not have a lot of HP. She does nerf your entire front lines, attack, defense, crit, and pierce. And she also nerfs greens a little bit. So Hinata is not the challenge of this fight. The challenge of the fight is after you kill Hinata, and then you move on to the masked hero part, who has 204,000 HP, jack tip attack and defense, huge resistances, in the first turn she has an AoE ult, and she gives herself a literal crap ton of buffs. So normally, uh, unless you are on the pretty sparkle team, you or frontline would die. Like, she does way too much damage here. But... With the Prosper team, we now have the ability to just revive with Lumi. So that's what we're going to bank on here, is that we're not actually going to spend a lot of time fighting Hinata, like trying to stack up and get points. We might do that like a tiny, tiny little bit, but the whole point of this is to just tank the hero's ult and then kill her normally, because we'll have the revive for three turns, and we'll have guaranteed super guard, and that should be able to save us, and we should be able to whittle her down just like a normal enemy. But let's see that in practice. I have to build a team for it, so I'll be right back. Alright, this is the team I have built. We're bringing Maribel, Rieger, and Lumi, because, you know, this is the Prosper team, quote-unquote. We're not using Omizia, because she wouldn't do really jack shit here. Um, Soka, free to play. She's a special converter. Rieger is, uh, you know, orange converting for us and alt swapping. Uh, Earth Guy is here because he's got an orb change, an alt buff. Uh, I'm not really bringing him for the alt buff, but certainly usable. And also, he's an Earth character, which means that we have three characters Lumi, Rieger, and Guy who can actually activate the full Lumi orb change if we really need to use it. So we've got convert, 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 technically. And then Diablo is the only one who's actually going to benefit from the weakness strike stacks from Maribel. And he's also on Commander, which means that he will get the revive part of Lumi's skills. So we have to still play around Lumi's full kit because it is limited to very specific things. Uh, if you don't have Guy, you don't need to bring him. You can bring some other Earth or Fire character. There just aren't too many options for Blue Orb Changers. Uh, I guess the free-to-play Fire Shuna would work. You know, she would cover greens at least, and she would still be Fire. Uh, but, I mean, this stage should be pretty simple. Our front line is going to get nerfed. It doesn't really matter all that much. We're not looking for damage from any of them. We're looking for damage from Diablo and the survivability. Because a lot of the times, this stage is, you know, build up enough points, get some EX ults, and then as soon as the hero comes in, you just nuke her and you call it a day. This team, I don't think, is going to have that same ability because um, we need to survive. We don't have a lot of damage, and especially if you don't have, you know, Commander Diablo. Your options then get a little bit more limited because single target dark options are not super great. Oh, okay, the auto is still on. Alright, well, let's turn that off. Uh, okay, well, that's not a good hand either. Well, we'll come back when the auto isn't on. Hold on. Okay, I mean, I guess that hand will work. We'll just use Guy's Orb Change. It'll take care of a lot of it. Um, I don't know if... Lumi, or not Lumi, but Hinata is actually going to live any of this, right? So let's send Diablo first, that way we do the least amount of damage. I don't want her to die too quickly, because I do want at least a few stacks of the weakness strike, but I don't think that's going to be a thing, so... Alright. We don't need to use Maribel yet, we're just going to hold on to it. We're just looking for a whole hand of blues. And remember, if we kill Hinata, we don't actually get any of the weakness strike stacks, since it takes... Um, it only happens after the turn is over, so 
eh, not really the greatest thing. We're going to have to get those stacks from the hero instead. Okay, we're just not getting good orb hands here. Um, sure. Let's, let's do this. Boom. I guess we could have used Lumi's orb convert. You know, I'm kind of dumb. It's okay, though. All right, so this should transition us to the second phase. We have all three of our characters up front. Let's use Maribel. That way we get maximum points off of this turn. Again, we're not going to get the effects of the control stat because uh, she's going to die. So, one, two, three, four, five. All right, only five. So there we go. We're going to transition into the hero fight. You'll see... Oh, oh, oh she's here. Okay. <laughs> that normally doesn't happen. Uh, so we'll skip this. And then she's supposed to walk in. Oh, I guess because we're skipping the animations, huh? All right. So here... She's got a literal butt-ton of buffs, right? 300% attack, light attack, guaranteed crits, guaranteed pierce, 100% crit damage and pierce power, and she also has super guard, but we also will have that. So let's go ahead and revive here. Boom. So everybody is on either Commander or Prosper, and the only orb that is not is Diablo's Orange, so actually we should do this, and then we'll have a full hand. And now Diablo will actually get two stacks of Maribel because the hero's not going to die. She has her super guard up. She's not going to do a lot of damage, or we're not going to do a lot of damage to her. But also, we are going to live. And that's the more important thing, right? So, yeah, super guard for 45. 45. Awesome. How much does Diablo do? 850. Oh my god. Alright, so here's the hero ult. We'll actually watch it. She does a butt ton of damage. I know I've said that a couple times now, but I just want to reiterate how much damage she actually does when you have that level of buff on an enemy. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Yeah. And there's a revive. All right, and now all of her buffs are gone. So this is pretty much just a standard fight. She still has relatively high stats, right? 18,000 attack, 15,000 defense. But we're no longer in danger of really being one shot. So orb change, orb change... And now I think we can just get a Diablo ult. Oh, that didn't work as well as I wanted it to, too. Oh, well. All right. Well, we got the two stacks of the Weakness Strike. This will be stack number three coming in. This should still get us an okay amount of points. And let's see how much damage we do now. Okay, still not a lot from Rieger because he is debuffed. 7,500. Okay. Well, eh. It's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and... See how much damage she does without the without the guard on? Just for science, right? Just for science. 9,200. Orb. Orb. 54. Alright, does she even do anything? No, she doesn't even do anything there. Okay, we got... I've never really made it past the first nuke, so I don't know how the rest of this hero fight actually runs. <laughs> um... Okay, so we can use Rieger's Orb Change. We could take him out for Guy. And then we'll convert those greens, because he's been reset down. And what is, what is this? Lord's Ambition, right. Sure, why not? Why not? Another guaranteed guard. I don't think this will kill, because we don't have the big time buff for Guy. Uh, not Guy, but Diablo. But it's still going to do a decent amount of damage. Oh, poor guy. One damage. Look at that. Alright, guard, crit, weak point. Single target, dark ult. With a few stacks of the weakness strike, 21,000. Okay, super guard, 450. I mean, yeah, she, even through super guard, she's still doing 600-something damage. Like, that's pretty impressive. That's fairly impressive. Okay, that hand is terrible. Uh... We're just going to do this. We're just going to do this. Alright, so we're going to miss a couple stacks of Maribel. It's okay, though. I just want points back, so we'll only use one. And we'll hold on to the other one. Yeah. Okay, I mean, this is the fight. You know, in instead of being it super quick and, you know, four or five turns now with a burst team, this is a defense slash... St what the hell is this? Defense slash stacking team. 
and you just gotta make use of it. We don't do a lot of damage initially, because we don't have anyone that's type advantage against the hero, except for Diablo. So we're gonna bring Diablo now in for Rieger. And we're gonna rush his ult again. And then next turn, we'll have enough points to actually use his 80 point buff. And then we'll kill. Theoretically. Technically. Ideally. Right? What's, what's, what's it, what's it, not that one. Attack and synergy power. And maybe we use Guy's buff instead. Guy will give Diablo the guaranteed crits and the alt damage. Maybe we do that. Yeah, we don't have synergy here on this team. Okay, 11,000, awesome. We're still guarding, everything is still fine. Control, she didn't actually do anything there. And then Diablo on turn 11. I, we probably could have done it a little bit sooner, but oh well. We're showing off a, a wonky ass team. Please forgive me. Oh, we didn't actually kill. That's unfortunate. Ah. I, uh, misjudged. Alright, she's doing 6,000 a hit still. I mean, yeah, without the guard, that... You will die. You know, quickly, I, I guess. Alright. Um... I mean, this should kill her. Right? These oranges. From Diablo, please. Alright, there we go. Alright, 12 turns. Certainly not the best showing of any new EX meta team. But again, we have to play around with the whole Earth and Fire and then Commander and Prosper limitations of Lumi to really make use of her. But there you go. We have cleared the hero stage. And now after we hit next a few times, it'll give us the cutscene number five. And you can watch that on your own if you haven't seen it yet. And after you do this, you'll have a nice brand new hero sword in your box that you can then use on the hero or you could just give to anybody else because it's an awakened sword and you're a newer player and you need the gear. But there you go. That is the Prosper team, quote unquote, versus the masked hero. Let me know what you guys think, but that's it from me. Take it easy and I'll see you all later.